Are the demons going to come out? No. All right, well, this is weird. Still don't see where those crystals are. Maybe something just changed inside now that these rift is coming out. Oh, here's the last one. A slave girl who burned with potential, ignored by all save myself. Her master did not see it. No one saw it. The world has gone craven and blind. Okay, I don't know what- I really don't know what all of that is- is supposed to mean, but... Whatever, we'll see. Speak to Lelian about the faith of Magister Arath, please. Okay. That was it. Uh, back to Skyhold. See if we can close this mission out before we close the episode. All right, that was it. That was that side quest. I'm I'm assuming that similar to getting the. Uh, What's the chance there? Getting the rune that weakens Samson's armor. Doing that quest will make the boss fight with Calpurnia when we ultimately... I'm assuming we're going to confront her when we go to the Temple of Mithal. Um, that by doing this quest, it'll make that boss fight easier. The reports from our agents at the shrine are intriguing. Oh, the camera, lower. You were correct. Once Calpurnia becomes the vessel, she will lose her freedom. We are interrogating this Magister Erastenes. We may learn more from him. I think that despite what... Despite us keeping him alive for questioning, I think Andy... He's not a total jerk face. I think he does feel kind of sorry for him. Um... I'd like to believe after they finish their use of him, they'll be able to put him to rest. I'd, I'd like to believe that that's what they would do afterwards and not keep him trapped in there forever. Be gentle, Leliana. He suffered enough. He'll be as comfortable as possible, given the circumstances. Corypheus' notes mention a place where regret dwells. That is more of a mystery. Until the notes are deciphered, I intend rumors of the binding ritual to reach Calpurnia's ears. Hmm. Why waste time with rumors? Warn her. We are the enemy, Inquisitor. She suspects Corypheus, but she knows we work against her. Breaching his sanctum might give Corypheus pause, yet Calpurnia is silent, as are her agents. We have given her something to think about. True. Quest completed under her skin. Got power and a bunch of other stuff, I'm sure. All right. Well, that's done and over with. I've got power plus three. Excellent, excellent. That's good. Woo! Nice. Hey, IB. Got some new tricks, huh? That flashy stuff, all fire and crap. Good way to throw off an enemy. Ah, yes. They get all hung up with you being on fire and miss the part where you stab them in the kidney. <laughs> if you folks can do tricks like that, you might be closer than we thought to making Gatlock. Mm. Is what I'm doing that close to Gatlock? No, sorry. 
I just meant in terms of complexity. Gadlar keeps better than the stuff you make. More reliable, too. You want a cannon to work? Reliable is key. Cannons that aren't tend to blow up in your face. I love how these conversations... Uh, there are conversations that mention your specialization. I'm assuming Sarah, since she's also a Tempest, will have something to say. I heard Kunari guard the secret of making Gadlock pretty closely. Why is that? It's like crossbows and longbows. Longbows are better, no contest. But it takes years to get good with one. Any idiot who can point will do damage with a crossbow. No offense to Varric or Bianca. Mm. Gatlock cannons might not be flashy or portable like Magefire, but we can make a lot of them. Any idiot following orders can fire one. Don't have to worry about them getting possessed by demons either. Good point. Are there Kunari warriors who do what I do? Nah. You know how you put that alchemical crap on your clothes so your skin doesn't catch fire? Imagine trying that when you're not wearing a shirt. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm sure you're careful and all. But I like my nipples uncauterized, thanks. Wow. Wow. I think, I feel like Andy just had a mental image of Iron Bull pouring liquid on himself. Pouring liquid on his shirtless self. And nipples. <laughs> Those two images, I think, is what Andy's thinking about right now. I don't know if Andy wants to discuss anything else. There was actually another matter I wanted to discuss. What you got? Nothing really. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. <laughs> nice talking with you, IB. There's Harding. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. Good to see you, Harding. Trouble ahead. If you're on edge, I should alert the entire Inquisition. Or increase my hazard pay. That's an option. <laughs> there we go. The thing's that bad. Uh -oh. <laughs> Westwood was the site of a flood ten years yeah. ago during the blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. I don't think I was ever given the option to flirt with Harding before. I guess it's just because Art never really gave any of the responses that would lead to this. So, as I said before, Andy is bisexual, and, you know, Colin wasn't his type, and Iron Bull right now eh, doesn't seem to be biting at the moment. And surprisingly, neither is Dorian either. So I think he's going to take a chance with Harding. I mean, she's cute too. They, they, would, they would make a very cute couple. I, I mean, they kind of same, you know, they've got the hell red hair thing going on. They would make a cute couple. Sure, sure, let's... Let's let's go flirt with her Harding and see what she does. I wish we could get better acquainted, Harding. When the dead aren't rising around us, perhaps. Mm. <laughs> the world would crumble to dust before you ran out of ills to fight. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows that won't help. Good luck, and please be safe. You too, Harding. You too. Uh, we are now. I've kind of cleared through. Uh, Crestwood, and now we finally reached the cavern with Andy uh, to meet up with Hawk you made and. I just got here myself. <laughs> Convenient. My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. There was a group of wardens out there hunting a senior warden. They said he was a traitor. Of course they did. They may even have believed it. How much blood is shed by good men following bad orders? Uh, well, we're gonna. Go and see if we can find Stroud, because Alistair is, Alistair is, I believe he is, I believe Alistair is king. Yes, if I remember correctly. Alistair is king, married to my warden. I believe he's, yes, I believe he's married to my warden as king in this playthrough. All right. Here we go. So don't worry, Alistair is alive and well still. 
but I wanted to see what this was like with Stroud. He cut his hair. Much better, in my opinion. Much better. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. Hmm. Most of you wardens disappear. Then I run into a darkspawn magister named Corypheus. Do you think that one might have something to do with the other? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. You never told me. It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Hmm. I came here for information about Corypheus. The calling doesn't concern me. But it does, Your Worship. The calling warns a Grey Warden that his time in this world grows short. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next blight? It is our greatest fear. Thanks to the calling, Corypheus has them scared. And they're playing right into his hands. Hmm. Is the calling they're hearing real? Or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. I might be kind of partial, guys, but this whole scene was a lot more entertaining with Alistair. Not, 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 not because, okay, like, all kidding aside, uh, it's more than just me thinking that Alistair is attractive. Alistair's actually, you know, he, a little... He has a sense of humor. Uh, Stroud is fine. He's a fine grade warden. He's just... I don't know. He's very straightforward. Stroud is very straightforward. Very, you know, cookie cutter as far as good grey wardens go. Whereas Alistair, he has a bit of a charm. And, uh... You know, I'm kinda... I definitely miss having Alistair here in this scene. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but... At times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a magister, as well as a darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. Hmm. We need the Warden's help. This is the worst possible time for such lunacy. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. All right, then. Let's go. I can still talk to Stroud, though. 
We should get to the ritual tower in the western approach as soon as possible, your worship. Terrell's the warden commander, right? What's she like? She was a good warden. Once. Among those King Kaelan reached out to before the blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Terrell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Do you think Corypheus is using the calling to control her? It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words. Certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's Warden Commander. She should bow to no one's word but Weishaupt's. What's it like being a Warden? I can't even imagine. <laughs> it's been a long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life. Searching out Darkspawn, killing them, ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Griffiths was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I know little, and that much only because of my relative seniority. Most wardens have never heard of him. Mm -hmm. When I suggested Griffiths might have something to do with the calling, the warden mages turned on me. I trained some of those wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, Your Worship. All right. We'll talk later. Thank you, Stroud. Thank you. All right. find a few answers. We're on to the Western Approach, guys. Visitor, welcome to the Western Approach. Hey, Hardy. We've decided warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a... Slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. Yeah, in short, delirious. this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Let's let's continue flirting with with Harding because she's she's so cute. Are you worried about me? Someone has to be. And try not mm. to die. I don't want to deliver that report to Skyhold. We intercepted a venatory messenger and. Uh, persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. Thank you, Harding. They they would make a cute couple. They would make a cute couple. But I have a feeling that um, that uh, she may not necessarily be the one. I'm really liking. I'm really liking the the ability to tint your outfit. I kind of like the pop of yellow color that I was able to put onto uh, Andy's outfit. It actually suits him pretty decently, in my humble opinion. It's against the blue. Okay, now we're nearing the uh, place in the Western Approach where we're supposed to meet up with Hawk and Stroud again. I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. Oh, we're gonna have to interrupt it that. It has then. to be blood magic. Steal yourselves. Whatever lies inside won't be pretty. You take point. I'll guard your backs. That's right. The hawk in this one is a warrior, not a mage. You. Wait. No. And there you are again. Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong. Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice. Oh. Hey, that guy looks like my hawk. Well, this version of hawk. Same hair and Good. almost the same hair color. Now find him just as I Eh, 
then we're gonna have to end Inquisitor. this. What an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond of Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? <laughs> Looks like you've already done some of my work for me. What, him? We simply needed his blood. Oh, were you hoping to garner sympathy? Maybe make the wardens feel a bit of remorse? Wardens, hands up! Hands down! Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the wardens terrified. They looked everywhere. For help. Even to Vinter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went mm. to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep groves, and kill the old gods before they wake. <laughs> Ah, I was wondering when the demon army would show up. You knew about it, did you? Well then, here you are. Yes, here you Sadly are. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. Yada, yada, yada. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Hades. Thank you for explaining this all to me. Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. The Blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. He's a tool. <laughs> As for me... <laughs> Thank you, Ivy. the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. Why would Clarell risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across all a. Now they are bound to my master. So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No. Everything you see here... The blood sacrifices to bind the demons. The wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator, and they were very afraid. Mm -hmm. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. How oh, well played. Why would the wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when dark spawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, poof, no more blights, ever. The wardens sacrificed their lives and saved the world. Except it wasn't That's that madness. simple. For all we know, killing the old gods could make things even worse. Well then, it's a good thing I'm taking this demon army off their hands. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Andy's Andy's completely done with this BS. It's all I needed to know. Oh, please. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you were foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the... Yeah, cry me a river and jump into it. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... Thank you. Alright. Thank you, Andy. Kill them! Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, 
cold, yeah, do your cold, do your thing. Just yeah. Solus, you'll probably need to throw up a barrier on everybody and Horn of Valor. There we go. All right. Douse myself and let's sunder. Sunder a few people. Caltrops. Oh yeah, we've sundered a whole bunch of people. Love that. Spinny, 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 spinny. spinny, spinny. Regeneration. Regeneration. Iron Bolt wanted to take a regeneration as well. Ooh. Back off. Throw him down. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I know. You were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Sacrificed. I knew the Wardens would go too far. Human sacrifice? Demon summoning? Who looks at this and thinks it's a good idea? The fearful and the foolish. The Wardens were wrong. But they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Herriment fled in that direction. Adamant. There's an abandoned Warden fortress yep. that way. Adamant. I love how my scarf matches my eyes. I'm really digging this outfit. Also, I like um, Cole's outfit too, that I also tinted a bit. Um... I want these Wardens. We can't let Gryphius gain an army of demons. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, what a mess. What a mess.